Hello YouTube. Just wanted to say we have a brand new skillet to review. It's from Stargazer Cast Iron. It is a 10.5 inch and I chose the seasoned one. They do sell a version that's bare that you can pre-season yourself. Me, I just wanted to go with, it's already got seasoning on it, so. Let's open this up and see how it looks. Trusty pocket knife here. There we go. Also, uh, Stargazer is made in the USA, so I think that's pretty cool. Let me close up my pocket knife. Alright. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so seems pretty well packaged. I was a little concerned about like the handle, but it's yeah, that's that's as you can even see right there it, it protected it so that's good let's pull this out got a little bit of reading material tells you how to cook in it clean in it first use our first use is going to be some cornbread um, that's a good way to add another layer of seasoning so that's what we'll do with it some people like to cook some bacon in it or even a steak but I want to do cornbread first. What else? Um, got a little sticker here. I'll put that on my civet. <laughs> uh, looks like another sticker. I like that one a lot. It's pretty cool. And let's take this out and take a look at it. Very well packaged. Oh wow, so if you can see that, it's, the seasoning on it is, is kind of like a deep gold, I don't know. Oh wow, sits very flat. Um, I had seen reviews, not, not this skillet, but just some, of some other newer skillets that, you know, even brand new don't really sit flat, but this one, as you can see, perfectly flat. Um, that's pretty cool. Our razor cast iron looks like oh look at that also has a date that it was um, made so that's really cool I like the handle I like the weight 10.5 is a, uh, inches is actually a really good size just for most cooktops um, they do make this in a larger variant but I don't have a, uh, a huge um, stove top for that so I went with the 10 it is quite heavy, the handle is interesting, but I kind of like how far away that is. This should reduce heat buildup, especially for like my girlfriend if she's trying to cook. You know, this we don't want this to get too hot, so that should work really well. So, all right, let me go ahead and get this seasoned um, with some cornbread, and we'll be back to show the finished result. I have buttered the pan pretty well here. Um, so now I'm just going to take my cornbread, get it all in there. And this is just store-bought cornbread mix with an uh, egg and a butter and then a little bit of milk, I think. But I made some a while ago, the same brand is really good. Um, Cetarians, I think is the name of the brand. So, give me a second here. Sorry for my angle. Trying not to drop this thing. <laughs> there we go. And a little bit more. Okay. So just kind of flatten that out a little bit. There we go. Okay. I'm going to drop it in the oven now. back no the video did not change I'm gonna cook a steak in this uh, recently restored BSR but I wanted to take a little peek at the stargazer oh uh, yeah it smells good too needs about maybe 10 more minutes so the finished cornbread and looks like it 
cooked really well. Now I haven't done anything with this other than flip it over and the cornbread fell out. As you can see, looks like a lot is on there. Oh yeah, it'll, it'll need a little bit of scrubbing, but that's okay. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna clean this up and I'll be back later with my final thoughts on this. Egg and onion test here. So let's pick her up. She slide. Oh man. There it goes. Oh man. Look at that. You never had an egg do that before. But I am also not a professional cook or anything. Hey YouTube, just wanted to add a little update towards the end of this video. Cook some sliced potatoes with bacon and cheese and it looks like it turned out really well. I will say this recipe that I was following said to put some minced garlic with the potatoes. I had some in a can. Well guess what? That can said it had citric acid so little itty bitty spots like if you look right there the seasoning came off so I will have to slightly re-season this thing again just because of a little bit of garlic causing that right there or a little bit of citric acid so just be mindful of that don't make the mistake that I did um, I guess now it's gonna have like little freckle spots that's okay still love this pan still going to use it all the time all right y'all have a good night